Okay, rookie, welcome to training A1. Our goal will be to teach you techniques to deal with your opponent. Here we will deal with direct confrontation, tactics, methods of protecting your own ass, and attack. I'll show you everything in the simulation. In room B1, you have some targets in which you can practice your aim. There's exercises of a completely different specialty in room C1. I recommend you take a look there. During the shooting, your accuracy isn't the only important thing. You can practice it with the targets in the next room. To avoid the bullet, you must use cover. You can either hide behind it or take a risk and prepare yourself. This tutorial will teach you how to evaluate the effectiveness of the available shields, how to move between them, how to aim from behind them, and finally, how to shoot the enemies. As you go through the next steps of the training, you'll get short cues. Take your time, read each one, and show me what you got. So, shall we get started? Done, you did it. Do you want to try again? Welcome to my humble abode. We don't often get visitors here. You can learn some very useful things here before you head out on the town. You can solve many situations without using a gun, just do a little research and you might come across something like this. But let's start at the beginning. At this stage of the tutorial, we will talk about your equipment. Hold down inventory to access it. A flashlight doesn't need much explaining, its light comes on and that's it. 
Using the radio, you can communicate with the base and ask questions. This is important. Sometimes you can verify the information obtained or push the mission forward. You will Usually the messages are general and accessible, but sometimes you may come across a message that is only relevant in a particular location, such as checking on a stolen car. In the notebook, you can see the collected information in a partial summary of the current mission. A notification means a new note has been added. The baton can be useful for stunning the opponent. Thanks to this, we can later handcuff him, interrogate him, and do not risk shooting. To accomplish this, you must sneak up on your opponent, crouch, you move more slowly but silently, however, you risk a bullet to the head. The pistol has a longer range and a larger capacity magazine. It's relatively easy to use. It still requires focus to hit the target. Shotgun. Heavy weapon, maximum 5 shells, good for short range, but if you narrow the choke and are loaded with buckshot, you can blow the guy's head right off his shoulders. Then there's the stun gun. It's a simple thing. You aim, you shoot, and the guy's disarmed. Although, I doubt you'll have access to it at first. It can be useful to stun an enemy so we can cuff them, interrogate them, and not risk a shootout. To accomplish this, you must sneak up on your opponent, crouch, you move more slowly but silently, however, you risk a bullet to the head. Great! Look through your equipment and come back to me. In your inventory, you will also find handcuffs. You can use them to handcuff a neutralized opponent that has either surrendered or been stunned into submission. You can then try to talk to him and try to get additional information. Not everyone's talkative, but some people open up with no problem after being cuffed. Did you understand everything? There are situations where an opponent can not only be tackled from behind, but also distracted or diverted. Now I'll give you some suggestions on what you can do to improve your chances. Sometimes turning the light or alarm off or on can get someone's attention. It can be other things too, but these examples are the most obvious. That's why it's a good idea to look around and surprise your opponent. Did you understand everything? I'm going to ask you now to watch the movement of this dude inside of the room, then activate the alarm with the switch on the wall and see what happens. Come back to me for further instructions. Now we're going to test your skills. Sneak up on our colleague and give him a little tap on the head with your nightstick. Just make sure he doesn't see you coming. Did you understand everything? Show me what you got. Hey, what are you doing here? This is not the place to hang out for you. Get out. Great. Half the work is done. Remember to handcuff your opponent after stunning him. Go now and handcuff him. Did you understand everything?
Well done. It's a good idea to look around for clues at the scene. It could be any number of things, a lot of cash, guns, drugs, these are just a few of the possible options. Did you understand everything? Well done. That's it from me. If there's anything else you want to ask, I'll be here. Time to teach you what negotiation looks like. The rules are simple. During the operation, you collect clues. You can get clues by talking to witnesses and by noticing events, things, and evidence at the scene of the investigation. Circumstantial evidence gives you arguments you can use in negotiations. Remember, however, that not every piece of information has to be true. You have to deduce it yourself from the conversation you've had and the leads you've found. Don't ignore messages from the radio either, they can be useful to you. The more good hits you get, the better your chances of convincing your opponent, because that's what we want, right? To avoid bloodshed and so on. Did you understand? Now let me tell you some basic facts about the criminal. You will have to decide which information is true and which is false. Choosing a card with false information will piss your opponent off and lower his trust in us. I'm Peter Fox. My girlfriend and I have been in a motorcycle gang called No Weakness for a few years now. I have a thick file. I've been written up several times for aggressive behavior and destruction of property. They say I'm a bully. You ready? I have a rather good opinion among my neighbors, so you might think that I'm not making a fuss. This is bullshit. I'm a troublemaker, and that's the truth. I've also been arrested multiple times for drug possession. My best friend knows I don't do drugs. And if I have, it's only for sale. When they caught me, they looked at my hands and did a drug test too. And guess what? Clear. <laughs> because I don't do drugs, and that's the truth. The only reason they got their hands on me is because I was in a brawl at the garage. Somebody called, they came, and the bra was about money, same as always. You already know a little bit, so what do you say? Shall we get started? Very good. Ask. My friend up there told someone that I was messing things up, but I don't know. I guess everyone goes through that phase in life, huh? Some guy I thought I sold something to once. He's probably a kid. Don't waste your time with this nonsense. Good. Let's get started. Just because I had it doesn't mean I took it. You should have listened to my friend instead of my stupid girlfriend. He said I don't use it, right? 
And besides, you saw my hands. You saw the test results. I'm clean. Your argument in this situation was ill-chosen. You'll only lose the suspect trust. Right away. Robbery. Big deal. I broke a window or set fire to a dumpster. Everybody does it. Get off my ass. And why does anyone need such ugly bus stops? Besides, who's my friend again, huh? Some guy I don't even remember well. He better keep quiet now. You'd ask my neighbor what a good neighbor I am. I only threatened her with a baseball bat once because the idiot kept their dog on a chain. Something or someone. I won't talk about others, but I might know something about some job. You know that supermarket in town? Well chosen argument. Reliable information. This is how you can convince your interlocutor. How do you know it's heroin? Did you try it? It depends on what I have a special deal for. You get the joke? Hmm. Alright, alright. I was stealing, okay? That's all. Kids like this shit. And I like good money. Well chosen argument. Reliable information. This is how you can convince your interlocutor. No, come on, this is pointless. You don't know what you're talking about. Go out, take three breaths and try again, huh? You ready? Good. Let's get started. How do you know it's... It depends... Hmm... Alright, well chosen... Right? And what... You... So... Well chosen... Alright, alright. I see you know what this is about. You talk me through it. You can get on with the real work. Unless you want a really tough negotiation, you're welcome to it when you have some free time. Are you the new guy? The chief says you're as stubborn as a mule. Wait, what's your name? Price, right? Scott Price? Whatever. I'm Captain David Summers. Apparently you wanted to move to us yourself. What is it? What are you looking for here? What, you're not gonna say? Okay, not really my business. There's a report, a fender bender or something. Check the system and get to work. I'm out of here, bye. Good morning, sir. I'm the one who reported our little accident. I was pulling out of the parking lot and this gentleman drove into me. He backed up and slammed right into my car. No, come on. 
It's just a fender bender, basically a scratch, but the guy won't admit it's his fault. That's why I had to call. Good evening. You've heard enough, haven't you? That I'm responsible for this mess? <sighs> what a guy. This man is more fortunate than smart and should never have passed his driving test. It's good that it was late and there weren't many cars in the parking lot, so I barely hit him, but you know, it's a waste of my nerves anyway, right? Sure, you got it. What was that out there? Were there gunshots? I can wait a while, but if they start shooting in the parking lot, I'm out. It seems to me that what's happening in the store right now is more important than this little collision of ours. Please, my daughter was left in the store. I ran out as soon as they started shooting. I was sure she was right behind me, but... Yes, she was with me. I started to run for the exit. I turned around and... She was gone. Please find her before they get her. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I'm so scared for my Camille. Please don't speak out loud. They're still here. Yeah, they're going around for someone else to shoot. What? A girl? I don't know. No, I don't think I saw her, but someone definitely ran into the restroom. Maybe it was her. Anything else? The longer we talk, the more likely they are to find us. I saw two, but they were shouting to someone else. Their boss is a psycho. He didn't even blink when he shot the guy who tried to stop him. He just punched a hole right through him. So much blood. Anything else? The longer we talk, the more likely they are to find us. If I move out of here, aren't they going to shoot at me like I was some sort of duck? Cop? You think the Detroit bosses are afraid of dogs? I hate cops. Die!
doghouse? Quickly, I'm going to count to three, and then I'm going to shoot your tail off, okay? Ha! Good! <laughs> three, I shoot! The police? Jesus, finally. Help me. He's not breathing. What? No, he's just a customer. He comes here a lot, and today... Shit. Yes, I fix what's broken, and if it works, I make sure it keeps working. I went out to check one of the refrigerators, and it started. You don't even know. It's a living hell. Wait, sir. I got it. I got it. Here you go, sir. I generally have most of the keys to the locks in the store. Unfortunately, I can't help you. The manager has the key to the warehouse. I don't know where he is. I last saw him at the bakery. No, no. I saw this guy talking on the phone. He looked like he was gonna shit his pants. You know, scared. And then when he finished talking, he pulled out a gun and started shooting. I don't know, come on. All I know is they're a bunch of amateurs for sure. They were fighting with each other like a bunch of kids. One of them kept asking for money and the boss told him to shut up. What? What do you mean? Do you want me to stay here? Good. Sure thing. Straight to the exit. I'll be in the parking lot if you need me. You know how it is. I had to make a statement and everything. What's the situation? Is it safe yet? <sighs> leave me alone! Please leave me alone! He was shooting at me. I ran away, but I was so scared. Mom, she ran away? Oh, that's good. Can I go to her now?
I see you're hurt. There's a first aid kit on the wall by the door. Use it, then we'll talk. <sighs> Looks like you're saving my life. Thank you. I'm the store manager. No, I I'm fine. I got punched in the face by the boss of this gang, but, but I'm fine. <laughs> I'll live. I just don't know what they wanted. They came by, made a fuss. They didn't even touch the cash, so it's not about the money, is it? Really, I'm fine. I know the boss. He's been in the shop a few times, but never made any problems. I heard him on the phone talking about some kind of pickup. Don't ask me what, because I have no idea, but the thing was supposed to be in our warehouse. We don't have anything there except what's on our shelves. You ask me, I'll ask you. Maybe? What else is there? I'm sure someone's supposed to pick this up. That's all I know. The head of the whole party. He's locked himself in the warehouse. Who knows what he's looking for in there? As you walked through the store, did you see those big double doors in the middle of the room? You can go through them. This one here also leads to the back room, but the key's gone. I don't have it, and I don't think Richard has it as well. Yes, yes, there you go. Just be careful, huh? The guy was sharp. No, I just don't know what they want. Really, I'm fine. No, I I'm... I just don't know what they really I'm fine thank you very much again if it if it weren't for you no way this is my store and my people I'm responsible for them I'm staying Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> you make me laugh so hard, I'm gonna listen to what you have to say. What did he yell? What are you talking about? Get out of what? You seriously don't know what you're talking about. It's interesting from whom, as only I knew everything about it. Man, what are you talking about? Doesn't it surprise you that we didn't take a dime? Or that I came to this warehouse for a reason? I don't see you getting promoted to detective. Don't make me laugh with this speculation. It's a robbery. You go in and cause a major shit show. Okay, I admit, I overreacted. But the girl got away, so... I don't know, the door to hell is still only halfway open? First you made me laugh, and now you pissed me off. I don't like it. The price for that is a bullet in the head.
This is your first time in this town, huh? I can tell right away. You don't even know what kind of shit you got yourself into by coming here. If I were you, I'd be doing more serious things. You'll understand soon enough. In this town, rich kids get kidnapped, parts are traded, and people are trafficked. You'll see. Now get me a lawyer. It's your goddamn duty. I'm not talking without a lawyer. Thank you so much. I was so scared for her. I really... Thank you so much. Of course, those bastards will have to pay for this. You saved me. I was afraid I wouldn't see my mom again. Thank you. happened out there? I don't think anybody's gonna, you know, not gonna shoot me, huh? Don't worry about it anymore. We made a deal and everything's fine. Lucky I got out of the store in time. Oh, what a bloody evening. Wait, wait, wait. We'll talk. I went through your file, and I know everything, Price. You're here looking for a brother who disappeared a while back, right? Look, I don't usually get involved in stuff like this, but focus on the job, huh? I'm giving you good advice, Price. Give it a rest. There are people working on it. You know that rule about a surgeon not cutting on himself? Yeah, seriously, let it go. When you're done here, Get your ass to the police station.
I was the one who called. <clears throat> yes, please. <sighs> Hurts like hell. Yes, yes. It's a miracle I managed to escape. Uh, I was trying to pay for gas, and they rushed in, started brandishing guns and yelling at everyone that it was a robbery, that, ah, uh, shit, is bleeding more and more. Yeah, yeah, you know, I wanted to get out of there right away, but one of them grabbed me. We started fighting and ended up with a hole in my leg. Son of a bitch. <laughs> he had a knife. Yeah, they definitely had guns too. Or fake guns, but I wouldn't risk checking. The second guy got really, really pissed when he saw what the first guy had done to me. Uh, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe it wasn't part of their plan? Maybe they just wanted to scare everyone? Two of them. One of them was hanging around the corner. The other disappeared into the back of the store. Then I ran. Yeah, I'm sure of it. The guy who stabbed me was a complete nut job. I don't know. He didn't say much. I think he was a driver. He was doing everything the other one told him to do. A SUV. A white SUV. <laughs> Left it around the corner. Two of them. One of them... Yeah, I'm sure of... I don't know. He didn't... Thank you. probably hear about what happened at the neighbors no I, I heard I think I heard gunshots and people screaming but when I came out the garage it was quiet was anybody hurt guys that means there's something much bigger going on at the station after all we heard the police sirens. Uh, are you going to tell us what happened out there? No, no, no. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, and I won't even go out for a smoke. Very vaguely. I don't think I can help you. If that's everything, I'll get back to work now. think someone was playing with the gun other than that nothing I didn't see anything I'm sorry I can't help you Ellie get off your ass and hand me a what no 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 I've been messing with this thing for an hour I should have been home by now I didn't see anything
wait, wait. Uh, di didn't you happen to be involved in that last operation at the uh, supermarket? I heard about you. Uh, m my wife is there with her daughter. You know, I usually go shopping alone, but uh, thanks. Okay, that that you uh you took out the bad guys. It's it's a mess, huh? The uh that guy, the the one that got away. Hope he survived. Uh, I I didn't see much. I uh, uh, I heard the roar of gunfire and the the screams of people. I mean, I, I may have seen them, but how was I supposed to know it was them? You know, they, 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 they didn't write, like, I like shooting people on their foreheads, you know? Uh, I'm smoking a cigarette, That, as you can see. Uh, I'm taking a break from my drive. I just, I, I just had to get out from behind the wheel for a little bit and, you know, stretch my legs. You're stubborn, but but I know it's it's your job. No, I I haven't. Believe me, I'd I'd help if I had anything for you. I'm very glad that you came, but wait, wh where's your backup? No, someone else did it faster, and I'm glad they did. I've been working at this station for a few months, you know. I've seen a lot of things, but what I saw today, that's just too much. I went out for a smoke, and I think that cigarette saved my ass. A robbery happened. What does it look like to you? Two guys, one of them I know, came by just as I was putting out my cigarette. Both of them were just looking for an excuse. The one I know is probably the brother of a girl who recently got fired from here. The boss kicked her out. Uh, never mind. I used to see this guy at, uh, you know that casino by the park? Yeah. That white SUV, do you see it? To the right of the entrance. That's right, two. Two got out of the car, and that's all I know. No, I'm sorry. I've never seen him in my life. Yes? Security? <laughs> no security. The boss is a master at cutting costs. We only have CCTV.
I'm not taking the rep for this mess. Not happening. You're alone. I'll shoot you and run. How about that? I don't know how to thank you. I thought this crazy lunatic will find me. Yes, I was taking out the trash when all this started. I heard gunshots and screaming, so I immediately hid behind this bus. I was so scared. I'm fine, thanks to you. Who knows what could have happened if... I don't even want to think about it. Not this one here, but the other one, yeah, I know him. I've seen him here more than once. This is Bob, Bob Smooth, brother of the girl who worked with us until recently. We even became friends, me and this girl. I know she had an affair with her boss, and I think she's pregnant. Bob hung around me at one point. We even went out for drinks a few times, but that was it. Not the right chemistry. I don't like narcissists, and he, he loved to brag. He talked about those cards all the time. I think he even won a tournament, but I'm not really into it. We had nothing to talk about. She no longer works with us, and that's probably what all the drama is about. I heard Bob yelling, Where the fuck? Did she hide? I mean, the boss. The boss and her had a terrible falling out in the end. He treated her poorly. He fired her from her job without blinking an eye. It's such a shame. Bob's furious. I've never seen him like this in my life. He's always been very protective of his sister. I already told you what I know. No, but the building is not that big. In addition to the storeroom, we have some restrooms and a back room.
Is there something else I can do to help you? I'm listening. I think so, but... You know what? My brother Daniel works in the garage next door. You'll know him instantly. I'm sure he hangs around the shop. He used to fix our door sometimes when they got stuck. Maybe he can help. Please, tell him I sent you. He's a grumbler by nature, but when he hears this, he won't be upset. I think so. The boss hates drafts, but there's a way to open one window side from the outside. Daniel will know which one it is. Yes, yes, go to him. I'll open the gate for you so you don't have to walk around. You're probably here about what happened at the neighbors. What? What, what do you mean? Was she working today? She was supposed to be off. Shit, I didn't even know. Where is she? Yes, I do. Sally was telling me a little bit about what was going on over there. Also, I, I met this friend of hers. This girl came to me and asked for a loan. I can only guess that it was to, you know, fix the problem. She even went to Ryan, our lazy manager, about it. This whole mess is because of that? Don't tell me Bob's behind this. Sally said he took great care of his sister. He would bring her to work, pick her up when she finished late. They were close. He would probably got pissed when he heard about what happened. Y yeah, we talk a lot. She was very concerned about this girl and her problems, but, but I, I don't know anything else. I, I haven't really looked into it that much. <laughs> Let me guess. Sally sold this to you? She probably said that she told you about it. Smart girl. The front door is operated by the fuse box. It's outside. I can get it to you in just a sec. You're a good thinker. Let me help you. Come on, let's go. Dogs always have to stick their noses in other people's business. What do you want? I'm tired of talking.
Yes, Ems always spoke warmly about Chloe. Cool chick, but why we talk about it? What's the point? They are all worth each other. She didn't deserve to be treated this way. Old fool. It's not enough for him that my sister is pregnant. He doesn't want to take responsibility for it. He said it was her fault that she is slutty. I could, but what do you really want, huh? You wanted to say before she got kicked out. It was about everything. He's a bastard. That's all. What? What are you talking about? If I wanted it, I would do it. I looked for him so the shithead would not run away. No, I got mad because that moron was not supposed to come in here at all. He was supposed to guard the escape route, but oh, he had to do it this way. He just had to. I don't know what your system for drawing conclusions is, but it clearly sucks ass. Since I ordered that she be found, I guess that means I wanted to give her a hard time too, right? Moron. Do you know how many times Ems has told me about them? How stupid they are and how they disrespected her? Fuck them all! I would shoot everyone! My shit, my business. Do I have a way out? Step into my shoes. We'll see what you'll say. You bet little, you win little. If you play, play it seriously. Well, I guess I'm fucked up anyway, huh? Fuck you, cop! Enough of this talk! I mean, it's over? I'm alright, but if it wasn't for you, things could have been different. Yes? Yeah, I... I uh, unfortunately, it, it was me. Yes? Oh, apart from almost losing my life? <laughs> it seems the girl I recently fired from her job didn't take it too well. Uh, her charming brother pretty much proved that to us today. 
That's not necessarily your business, is it? How, how'd you figure that? I'd be the boss of the mother of my child? That couldn't possibly work. Yes? Thank you so much. You saved my ass. I'll unlock the main door so you can leave the building. For the news. I see someone already called for you. I don't know, but I hear loud screams and a woman crying. From some motel room, I think. I thought it might be a typical husband-wife brawl. You know, the food wasn't to his liking or something. But then I remember that two women had been kidnapped in the area. I'm glad someone called you. You better check it out. I don't know for sure, but I think it's more like the other end of the building. Oh, good evening. Are you all right? No, not particularly. I actually just got here, so... No, nothing really. I'm sorry. Is it? Is something wrong? I think the walls in this motel are made of paper. You can hear everything through them. The guy in the next room is snoring awfully loud. Yes, I'm sorry, sir. I heard a woman crying, I think. Some guy was yelling at her really loud. I think it was from upstairs somewhere. More like from the side of the bar, because they were really loud. I just heard this guy keep saying things like, You don't respect me. You don't understand anything. This depression is because of you. You treat me as half a man, then you'll see. It seemed like a normal marital argument, but this woman was really crying a lot. Oh, yes, I see. Thank you, sir.
Yeah? Yeah? What's going on? Why are you questioning my guests? Great. Another price. You're gonna bring me bad luck, too? Yeah, there was this guy. Give me a sec. Jack Price. I took pity on him because he was broke. Let him spend the night here on the couch. For free. But the bastard, before he ran off first thing in the morning, lifted my phone and all the cash I kept here. Lesson for me, huh? Do you know him? I don't know, and I don't want to know. I can't help you. Don't ask any of the other guests either, because I'm sure none of them saw him. Um, you know this is a motel, right? A cheap motel. It's where people come to do all kinds of weird shit and yell a little bit. I've learned to stay out. Unfortunately, I know who that is. He got drunk, made a ruckus in the pub next door, then came to me and threatened to get my daughter if I talked to the police. He's a fucking freak. I didn't care that much for his talk, but you know, he made my blood boil. He sits there all day. I don't think he goes outside. I saw that he came in with some woman. Either that's his wife or... Well, you understand. Besides the room he's in, he's paid for another one. He gave a big bonus, so... I didn't go into why he needed two rooms. Confirm it. I have his personal information. I took it off his ID. I'm not gonna ask for a warrant, because he's obviously got a lot on his plate. Get him out of here. The code's 14452. I don't think so. I'm just waiting for him to check out. These guys are more trouble than good. Yes? Yes? What is it? If you must. Don't even remind me. He came in with his wife, but they don't seem to be getting along very well. I think, you know, they've got a heavy hand. They usually order food to the room. Last time he came in here, he drank a lot and spilled his guts. He was telling me how fucked up his life is. About two days ago, I remember that someone on TV was talking about the disappearance of these two girls in the neighborhood. Terrible thing. And what did he say? First he hurled at his father the accusation that because of his financial scams they had lost their house and their life savings. They were left with nothing. Then the old man ended up in jail, I think. That very thing. Left the kids and the wife with nothing. What else? He talked a lot about some doctor therapist, I think, who he was obviously in love with. He wasn't necessarily in love with him. He said it was his wife's fault and he had to pay for it. I remember rather well. Yeah? Anything else? Yeah. The kitchen's in the middle of cooking his order. I want Jones to pick it up as soon as I call him. Yeah? Anything else? What exactly are you asking? Other than some drunken fooling around, nothing important. Yeah? Anything else?
Police? What's the matter? But what exactly? They're always yelling or snarling at one another. Or last night, there was a couple upstairs having a good time. Well, they were loud. But I didn't find it strange. In a motel like this, it's pretty standard. There's always people like that. Yes? Is there anything else you want to ask? You again. Is there a problem? Let's talk. Yeah, sure. Why should I talk to you? Why don't you tell me that you understand me? Spare me. I don't want to hear it. You think I don't know that? You think that I didn't regret it? She's paying for my sick head. Maybe it's not fair, but such is life. I wouldn't hurt a child. The little one was my... Let's call it a policy, that's all. Because I had nothing to do with it. Back off, huh? What? 
What? What the fuck are you talking about? I didn't hurt those girls. It wasn't me. Shut the fuck up. She loves me. She will forgive everything. All right. I thought it over. I give up. Is it over? Is it over? Have you taken care of him? Thomas kidnapped that therapist of his. He said he was keeping her somewhere close. He's been looking into her, but I don't know if she's at the motel or somewhere else. You have to find her. know my rights. I won't say anything. I'm not saying another word without a lawyer. Fuck you. Excuse me, sir, but I have to go make a phone call. I told you everything. I can't believe it. It's the guy from room one, isn't it? I ran into him from time to time because he was out smoking. He was hanging around the bar a little bit, too. And I once heard him discussing his truck with another hotel guest. That man had already checked out, but I remember that was the case. She must be around here somewhere. I saw her once. Smaller, white, I think. Then she did in fact disappear. But if the man's still here, then so is his truck. I have no idea. Maybe the other guests at the motel know something. Excuse me, sir, but I have to go make a phone call. Yeah. I saw one. I think the guy from room one parked it behind that diner next to the motel. Yes? Is there anything else you want to ask? Yeah, he's behind our diner. Something wrong with her? Sure. Goodbye. What's that noise up there? Holy 
shit, so he's a complete nutcase. Check out room number three downstairs. That's the other rooms Jones rented. Here's the key. Yeah, sure. At last. I was so afraid that crazy man would leave me here. I only have a few bruises, but it's it's nothing serious. A and he, Thomas, how is he? And his wife, is she all right? Oh, wonderful. Thank you. for the news.